In this video, I'll share with you how with just $250,000, you can retire using the option will strategy. At some point, you're going to begin thinking about quitting that job, retiring, and living life more on your terms. As such, a common question that gets asked is, how much money do I need to retire? If you Google that question, you might find that the answers are somewhat, well, let's just say disheartening or even unsettling. Here you see that on Investopedia, it says that using the 4% rule in order to have an income of $80,000 a year, which equates to right at $6,600 a month, you would need to have $2 million. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve that same $6,600 a month income goal with a lot less than $2 million. We're going to do that by using the Option Will strategy and the popular ETF SPY. For those of you who don't know, SPY is a very popular ETF that enables you to own a piece of the 500 largest US companies. Here you see just the top 30 holdings in SPY. It includes companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and Tesla, just to name a few of them. The tool we're going to use to generate our retirement income is known as the Option Wheel Strategy. If that strategy is new to you, then I have a whole video series dedicated to the optional strategy, and I'll leave a link to that video series down in the description below. But simply, the optional strategy involves selling a cash secure put option, which is basically giving someone the right to sell SPY to you at some set price anytime before that option expires. Here you see that SPY closed Friday at $356.50. Let's say, for example, that we're going to sell a put option where the white arrow is, or around $350 per share. The question is, how much will we get paid for that put option? Now today is October 16th, so if I go out to the November 18th expiration day, which is 33 days away, you see that we will receive $9.22 per share for selling those put options. So if we've been able to save up $250,000 to retire on, we would be able to sell about 714 shares worth of these options. Now, as you know, option contracts are in 100 share increments. So we have to round down to 700 shares and we'd be able to sell seven contracts of these cash secure put options. If we do the math for selling seven put option contracts worth of SPY, $350 cash secure put options, we would pocket $6,454. Now remember that option expires in 33 days. So if we're able to do this about every 30 days, we would pocket around $71,000 a year by selling these options. And that's with $250,000 set aside for retirement. Now, if you were somehow able to save up the $2 million that Investopedia mentioned, then you would get around $52,600 this month for selling 5,700 shares worth of $350 strike price spy put options. Now, would you be able to get this amount every single month? Well, probably not. Right now, volatility is a lot higher than normal, so when volatility comes back down, these put options won't be selling for as much. But this does give you an idea of about how much you could pocket by selling put options in SPY. But what are the chances that SPY might end up below that 350 strike price at expiration? If you look at the November 18th SPY option chain, under the Delta column, we see that Interactive Brokers is estimating there's a 37.4% chance that SPY will end up below that 350 strike price at expiration. So if we sold the 350 put option, what would happen next? Well, if SPY were to go up in price, or even just stay above that 350 strike price that we sold, then we get to keep the entire $6,454. If, however, SPY were to drop in price and go below that 350 put option strike price that we sold, then we have several things that we could do with this position. But to keep it simple, for the sake of this hypothetical retirement scenario, we're just going to say that we would end up buying those 700 shares worth of SPY at 350 per share, so we'd be out of pocket $245,000. Then we'd sell seven covered call option contracts at that same 350 strike price. Say for example that SPY was trading about $2.50 below that 350 strike price. If that was the case, then we should be able to collect about the equivalent of what the $360 call options are currently trading for because they're about $2.50 higher than where SPY is trading at right now. If that was the case, then we'd get around $12.37 per share for selling those covered call options. If you multiply that times the 700 shares that we would own, then we'd collect $8,659 for that 33-day expiration period. But what if we wanted to play it a little bit safer? Remember I showed you that the delta of this 350 SPY put option was 37, or had a 37% chance this option would be in the money and you have to buy the stock at 350 expiration. But what if you wanted to decrease the likelihood of you having to buy the stock? 
So going back to the same SPY November 18th expiration option chain, if we were to decrease the likelihood of having to buy SPY at 350, looking back at our delta column, notice at the arrow where we see the $335 strike put option that that delta is 22.2. So there's a little over a 22% chance that SPY would end up below that $335 per share expiration. Because it's less likely that SPY will be lower than that $335 at expiration, we don't get paid as much. Notice here that we would get around $4.96 per share or $3,472 for the next 33 days if we sold 700 shares worth of the November 18th $335 cash secure put option. That'd give us a little more room for the S&P 500 to drop over the next month and we still wouldn't have to buy the stock. If you're wanting to become a more profitable stock and option trader, please hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell notification. If you're enjoying or finding benefit in this video, please hit the like button as well. So if you did a trade like this, you have to revisit this position once a month in order to see if you're going to have to end up buying the stock and worst case have to sell a covered call against that stock or if the cash you could put off from going to expire worthless, you could sell a new one. However, if you did want to do this every single month, you can always look to sell options that were two, three, six, or even 12 months out. Up top in the red rectangle, you see that for the same 350 cash secured put option that expires in two months on December 16th, you get about $13.26 per share. Then if you go all the way down to the bottom to the March 31st of 2023 expiration, which is 166 days away, or just under five and a half months from now, we would collect about $21.15 per share if we sold that put option. But if you did that, then you're locked up for a longer period of time. That's why generally we like to sell options that are about 20 to 50 days out until expiration. But if you didn't want to trade these options that often, like on a monthly basis, then you can look to sell an option that's farther out in time. This strategy is exactly what we do to generate awesome monthly cash flow in our main option trading account. And this option world strategy is a great way to put your money to work for you so that you no longer have to work for your money. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more details on how you can use the option world strategy to generate awesome cash flow every month, check out the video series at the link above and the description below entitled The Option Will Strategy Explained. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.